This video is on the Garmin 760 uh, LMT, uh, some of the uh, ancillary functions and some setups uh, beyond the op basic operation. So when I turn it on, um, first thing you get is a prompt to switch mode. As you can see from the RV here, is this is an ERV mode. If you want to switch mode, you can go to either automobile or RV. Now the difference is, in the RV mode, it will look out for things like low bridges, uh, narrow roads, uh, steep grades, <clears throat> all those kind of things where in the automobile mode it will not. Uh, also some of the functions uh, that are available in the automobile mode such as the um, EcoRoute HD is not available in the RV mode for some reason. I don't, I don't know why you'll have to ask Garmin but if you stay in the RV mode um, and you agree it's going to prompt you to uh, verify the width, length, height, weight, and so on of uh, the vehicle because it uses that information to determine which route to take. Okay, under the, uh, we'll go into the apps uh, prompt <clears throat> and you have a help uh, prompt, a smartphone link, which actually will link to, um, and we'll show this in another um, Show this in another video. You can link to a smartphone or an Android phone and get uh, some extra information. Uh, and uh, as well, there's a phone mode that you can use to Bluetooth to, uh, and, and this is Bluetooth as well. Uh, the phone mode will Bluetooth to a phone so you can do uh, dialing and such through here. Uh, there is voice commands. Um, the default voice command is voice command. And we'll show how that works in a little bit, uh, and you can change it if you uh, prefer. Uh, trip planner, uh, we have no save trips, but you can go in here <clears throat> and you can, you know, put in the waypoints you want to go to, any detours you want to take, or, or not really detours, but side trips and things. Um, traffic. Uh, this includes the LMT. The T in the LMT part, uh, model number means traffic. And um, there's actually, on the power cord, there's an antenna. And it will download, and it's free, which is kind of nice because if you buy uh, a vehicle and if it has traffic, uh, say, from, from uh, uh, the satellites, uh, XM, for instance, XM traffic, you know, it's five, six bucks a month on top of the necessary... Um, subscription that you need to take for the for the um, radio so you know this one's free so it makes a lot of sense to have this now the one thing is is that it's only usually active in um, metropolitan areas so most of the time you're not going to be able to to use the traffic and where I've been uh, basically just gives you um, you know kind of a, re, a retrace or re, reroute of where you've been and then uh, Last spot, uh, it can tell you in some cases where you can park. So, uh, if we go into automobile mode, then if we go to apps, you also now have an eco route, and it is uh, not connected right now because um, the engine's not on. So, we'll show you that in a little bit. And uh, we got, uh, of course, the volume. It's muted right now um, because uh, actually it can be a little bit annoying to tell you the truth uh, when you have the um, uh, you know voices come the, the the commands that say turn right here and so on. That's what that's for. Now under the voice command, um, if we're in the map and I say voice command then we get uh, the capability of doing things uh, with your voice down, down. So there's two pages of this. And this way you can do uh, commands to this unit without taking your eyes off the road. So I don't really find it that much of, a, a, of an advantage, but some people might. So it's kind of neat. Exit. 
And uh, <coughs> finally, under settings, uh, updates, um, it just it's just basically a uh, text message or a text rather, just telling you how to update it. Map and vehicle, you you can set different vehicles on there. Uh, the view, the detail, the theme, tools. Now this is kind of interesting. Under the tools, you can put a detour uh, up ahead trip data, volume, brightness, traffic. So you can add these uh, to the map and how that works is if you're in a map and you hit this thing then it, now it shows you all those little icons that you added. Now there's also one here for weather and we'll get into that in another video as well. And also detour if you are on a route and you got a detour it'll hit you, you can uh, save your route while you're doing that. And uh, also, um, you know, RV profile, of course, we kind of hinted at that before. This gives you, this allows you to se select the um, the length and the width and the height of your RV. Uh, navigation. And then how to calculate it, How if you want to avoid U-turns <coughs> or unpaved roads. Uh, environmental zones and you know there's just a ton of stuff you can put in here um, and then display Bluetooth traffic units and time languages keyboard and device information so all in all uh, there's quite a few uh, things to, to set in this thing and actually quite a few things to know um, up here at the top we've got uh, the signal strength, which is five bars, maximum signal, which is really great because this is setting down low, uh, below the dash, basically. And then I also have a classy motorhome here, so you know I got that big overhang. And it used to be with those GPS units, if you didn't have the thing set in the, in the windshield with a clear view of the sky, you couldn't pick up anything. So the uh, receivers have really come a long way here on these. And then, of course, you know, we've got the uh, Bluetooth, showing Bluetooth, showing it we're in car mode, and, and battery status and the time. So that's about it for the, uh, the ancillary settings and features, and um, watch the other videos for some of the other features.